Hello guys and welcome back to this channel. As you can see, China has just released or unveiled its Manus AI, which is a groundbreaking AI agent that surpasses previous models like the DeepSeek that they have just released and that's, it has been creating waves in the AI platforms. Manus not only processes information, but also autonomously executes tasks across various domains. Okay, from data analysis to creative content generation, this AI tool is next level. So this advancement signifies a pivotal shift in AI capabilities, moving from mere comprehension of um, a co a comprehension of the chatbot to actionable intelligence. The name Manus actually was derived from the Latin word hand, which aptly reflects its role in assisting and augmenting human efforts. So let's just dive into some of Manus capabilities by reviewing some of the official videos launched by Manus website on its own. So this is the official launch of the Manus AI. Hi, I'm Pete from Manus AI. For the past year, we've been quietly building what we believe is the next evolution in AI. And today we're launching an early preview of Manus, the first general AI agent. This isn't just another chatbot workflow. It's a truly autonomous agent that bridges the gap between conception and execution. While other AI stops at generating ideas, Manus delivers results. We see it as the next paradigm of human-machine collaboration and potentially a glimpse into AGI. Uh, this is Manus analyzing about more than 50 screens at a time, okay, taking in data from different platforms, from X, from other websites and different kind of uh, um, search engines, and it is connecting everything at the same time, okay, this is next level, this, I have never seen this before throughout this, uh, in this era of AI, Now this is Manus carrying out some property research. Take a look at the steps and how it is searching the web completely and the reporting results directly. In this example, we have Manus conduct some research. It needs to filter New York properties based on multiple criteria. For complex tasks, Manus first breaks them down and creates a to-do list. Manus begins by searching and carefully reading articles about the safest neighborhoods. Then Manus researches middle schools in New York. Next, Manus writes a Python program to calculate my budget. Based on my budget, Mattis filters listings on real estate websites. Finally, combining all the information gathered, Mattis writes a detailed report and compiles all the resources. And this is Manus carrying out a task in an example, finding the 20 most trending pay five projects launched in the past year. This is Manus AI doing stock analysis, okay, live stock analysis. So take a look and pay attention to the details. In this example, we have Manus perform a correlation analysis between stocks. For professional data, Manus can access authoritative data sources through APIs. After validating the acquired data, Manus begins writing code for data analysis and visualization. For Manus, coding isn't necessarily the goal but rather a universal tool for solving problems. It looks like Manus has completed the data analysis and visualization. But interactive data visualization is even cooler, so I asked Manus to create a website based on these data. With my permission, Manus deploys the finished website online and provides me with a shareable link. Let's see what Manus has created. And this is Manus AI with a function. Describe the process of brewing coffee from bean to cup. 
Okay, after that, create a simple interactive web page showing different brewing methods, equipment needed, and tips for better tests. And launch it online and send me the link. Okay, so this is the process. It's to carry, uh, it showcases the processes of the coffee production and then it creates a website and carry out the launch the website and then send you the link that you can just click to have access to it. This is really, really wonderful and next level. Now in this example, Emmanuel is asked to do resume screening, okay? It, res it screens multiple resumes at the same time and it gives results. Let's start with an easy one. In this example, we'll ask Manus to help screen resumes. I've just sent Manus a zip file containing 10 resume documents. Since each Manus section has its own computer, it can work like a human. First, unzipping the file, then browsing through each resume page by page and recording imported information to documents. Manus works asynchronously in the cloud, which means you can close your laptop anytime and Manus will notify you when everything is complete. Of course, you can also give Manus new instructions at any time. Here, I've sent Manus five more resumes. After carefully reading all 15 resumes, Manus provides the ranking suggestions, along with candidate profiles and evaluation criteria, as supporting materials. This is pretty good, but I'd prefer a spreadsheet. Let's have Manus create one. Manus has its own knowledge and memory, so it can teach Manus that the next time it handles a similar task, it will deliver a spreadsheet right away. So overall, Manus AI is actually a general AI agent that bridges minds and actions. It doesn't just think, it delivers results. Manus excel at various tasks in work and life, getting everything done while you rest. So this is going to transform the AI um, uh, world with this because a lot is, is actually happening. And at the moment, you have to have an invitation code before you can try Manus. I've just sent that. And once I've received the confirmation or the, the, the permission to start using or make another video about the use of Manus AI. But for now, you have, we can see use cases scenario of the uh, Manus AI. It can be featured where it's been featured, some of the write-ups they have, and how it's been used in research, different kind of uh, content in research, different kind of um, scenarios in life, okay? We have data analysis and so on, how it's been featured and how it successfully manages all those, how it's been used in education uh, uh, for different for, for purposes, you can see from here, and then how it's been applied in productivity and so much more. So just go on and explore and see what you can learn from this and probably apply for the waiting li list, okay? To be on the waiting list, once you're given access, you just start using the, the model. So once you, if to have access, you can just come over to minus.im and then once you enter here, you can just fill in your human and you can enter your invitation code if you have uh, the invitation code. But if you don't have at the moment, you can just uh, apply for for the invitation code and all it requires you to do is to join the waitlist and you can join the waitlist by just filling in your information and then it will give you um uh, it to send you the email to have access to it right so please just go ahead and explore and see what you can do with minus uh minus ai uh, how it can be applicable to your real life scenario or your business or your professionalism you can try it in different forms and play around with it and see what you can do with it. So thank you and let's wait for the approval or the permission to start using it. I will make a complete tutorial about how to use it. Thank you and see you around.